I'm here with Kimberly Liebmans. Thanks for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, so let's start with The Walking Dead. Yes. The Hilltop episode, that's yeah. your, your first foray into it. Uh, what was it like being thrown into that situation? Well, it was good. It was a great way to meet everybody. Um, obviously, I have to punch Rick and then get laid out by Michonne. Um, and everybody made me feel super welcomed, especially having to be that physical with the main cast. And they were all just like, yeah, go for it. Like, really get into it. And so we did, and we had an awesome time. Now, visually, that set's pretty impressive. What was it like in person? That impressive. I, I didn't know that they were going to build it to scale, and they built the entire thing. It was the most incredible set that I've ever been on. I'm super excited about it. Now, I interviewed Steve Coulter, and he kind of had this interesting experience, right, coming in mm -hmm. and being someone who wasn't there from the beginning. Mm -hmm. What was the cast like? Were they welcoming? What was the experience like? So welcoming. The most welcoming cast and crew that I've ever worked with. They were just like, welcome to the family. It's so nice to have you. They made you not feel like there was any hierarchy at all. They were just like, welcome to the team, which is really cool. Now there was a, a kind of a question mark. Where's your character? Is there any, can you give us any tidbit? Will you be back? Uh, do we know? As far as I know, this is the Game of Thrones of the South. So it's the most secret show in the States that, that you can work on. So I don't know. Technically, I'm alive. So I would imagine that I'm floating around this universe somewhere. Uh, I would love to be back. I feel like there's, there's a big war coming from what I'm understanding. And Hilltop is involved in that. So I'd love to kick some ass. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so then let's go. Oh, you transitioned from America's Next Top Model. Yeah. What did that teach you about acting? Because it's a very different situation, right? It taught me how to cry pretty. <laughs> um, no, it's a totally, totally different world. Uh, yeah, I don't know, just being able to sit in makeup for a long, long time and then, yeah, being on set, just being prepared for very long set hours. And did you enjoy the reality aspect more or less than actually now being acting and on television sets? And It's a little bit different, right? I, I love like scripted acting much much better the the reality was just them having like nine cameras following you at, at any given time and here you get to actually emote and and walk away from it and not be followed into the showers <laughs> now, now i was what or i was looking at your imdb uh, listings and you've got a, a short film coming up oh, and i've always uh the swimming one the big swim the big swim yeah. that's it and I've always been a big fan of short films, and it's a, it's a tough medium to get into right yeah. now. You know, it, budgetary wise, most studios don't want to no. pay for it. Right. And uh, so, so what was it like working on that, and what are your hopes uh, for that? Well, the things with short films is that they don't get the distribution the way the features do. So it's doing the festival circuit right now. Um, and it was awesome, I love it. It's, a, it's an easier way for people to get a project done. So you don't have to raise like these millions of dollars to shoot a feature. You can raise a couple hundred thousand to, yeah. to shoot a short. Um, I loved it. I, I think I think it's doing really well. I'd love for people to see it. It's got a great you know breast cancer message and a shark conservation story in there. So yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm old school. So in, in in my spirit, in my soul, I guess. So I go back to the old days when they used to show Three Stooges and Abbott and Costello before the movies. Yeah. And I wish studios would do that to start developing young yeah, talent and idea. developing directors. You know. That's a great but, idea. But uh, I, I think we should try to get that started. I think so too. <laughs> yeah, just like the little Pixar shorts where they have the little the little ones. In exactly. Front of it. Oh, that's a so great idea. so let's go to your favorite film. My favorite question. Okay, I had to think about this and. The, the traditional classic is going to be Hocus Pocus. Oh. It was one of the first films that I really remember being obsessed over, pre-Harry Potter. <laughs> and I just really wanted to be one of the Sanderson sisters. So if they ever make a remake, how you doing? So influ influential in you wanting to become an actress as wanting well? Wanting to be a witch. Wanting yeah. to be a witch. I just really, really wanted to be a witch. So Harry Potter sequel maybe too. Oh, anything. Fantastic Beasts, I'm available. Uh, yeah, that would be the best. Perfect. Thank you so much for Thank this. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>